rupture in just days. Another seminarian is resigning and using strong words against the diocese. He tells I-Team Chief Investigator Charlie Specht it's time to shut down Christ the King Seminary and says Bishop Richard Malone must also resign. I am calling for the immediate excommunication of Buffalo's Bishop Richard J. Malone. Matthew Bojanowski's dream of becoming a Catholic priest in Buffalo is over. But I am compelled to step down from Christ the King Seminary. He blames Father Jeffrey Nowak, a diocesan priest who Bojanowski says sexually harassed him. And he also blames Bishop Malone for not doing enough about it. After rejecting Father Nowak's advances and harassment, I had to endure many months of revenge and retaliation by Father Nowak and two other members of clergy, including slander and emotional abuse. Nowak did not respond to requests for comment, but Bojanowski provided Facebook messages from Nowak that read, you are in good physical shape and have the good looks. When you become a priest, you'll become what we call clerical eye candy. The Diocese of Buffalo suppresses the truth in relation to sexual abuse. There is no transparency in Buffalo Diocese, and there is no justice for victims of abuse, whether the victims are children or adults. Bojanowski says he reported the abuse to Bishop Malone in November, and again by letter in January. But still, Malone allowed Nowak to remain in ministry at Our Lady Help of Christians in Chictawaga until the day Bojanowski's mother did an interview with the I-Team this month. Father Nowak broke the seal of confession, stole documents, and Bishop Malone has done absolutely nothing. The day after our story, Malone temporarily removed Nowak from ministry, nine months after Bojanowski says he first reported it to the bishop. He's now the second seminarian in four days to withdraw and to call on the bishop to step aside. The diocese must seek to regain its moral legitimacy. To that end, I call on Bishop Malone to resign immediately so that an apostolic investigation can be carried out in the Diocese of Buffalo. Bojanowski is calling not only for the resignation, but the excommunication of the bishop from the Catholic Church and the closure of the seminary. It is currently a fraudulent enterprise. It should only be reopened when it seeks to serve Christ rather than Bishop Malone or his lackeys. Whistleblower Siobhan O'Connor, the bishop's former secretary, says the Noah case is strikingly similar to that of Father Robert Yetter whose story we broke a year ago this week. The bishop allowed Yetter to remain in ministry despite multiple allegations. It's exactly the same as it was last year, and it's unbelievably disheartening to think that it's the same pattern of behavior. Bishop Malone, this has to end. Please do the right thing. Well, the Diocese of Buffalo has not released a statement on this. Instead, they've put out a news release stating that another priest, Bishop's secretary, Father Richard Birnat, has consented to a leave of absence. That statement does not say what, if anything, that has to do with these allegations against Father Nowak and the bishop. For the I-Team, Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Charlie, thanks.